Hi everyone, as promised, here is my rogue build. Lots of people asked for one, so here I am. I'm sorry it took so long to make, but as I mentioned in a previous video, I'm in summer break and have less time for these smaller videos. I hope you will enjoy it. I wanted to do something that was powerful, but also looked quite cool. So I sacrificed a little bit of power for some style. But do not worry, it is still powerful enough to destroy unknown arena bosses. The starting point of the build is aesthetic, as I really wanted to use the Maelstrom Blade and Zorn's Hunting Dagger combination. These are both torsaded blades and the contrast between the darkness of the Maelstrom Blade and the light of the dagger looks fantastic. It also happens that I will be using the Brigand's Backpack for more physical damage and Zorn's Hunting Dagger provides us with a decent enough light source. For Zorn's Hunting Dagger is pretty easy to get. The Maelstrom Blade can be tricky, as it is a sword you craft from boss items from unknown arena. I advise you to craft it on a character and put it in a legacy chest so you can get it early on. Enchant it with Whiplash for even more physical damage. I will also be using the Master Kazite Boots and the Master Kazite Mask, the Cat one, which are also legacy items. I use these two pieces for the stamina cost reduction they provide and the cooldown reduction of the mask that proves decent enough. I use the assassin enchantment on both of these pieces for more physical damage and impact. I would advise going for the heroic kingdom for the increased damage passive, but also because I am using the Zagis chest piece for the increased 15% physical damage. You can still put this in your 4th legacy chest if you want to go for another faction, but Heroic Kingdom is definitely the best for this build. You could go for Sword Warriors for some cooldown reduction, but I don't find this as strong. As for the enchantment, you can put on the Tagus armor, I go with Aegis for the extra protection. It's especially strong in the Definitive Edition, as protection gives you some impact resistance. Let's now look at the skill trees and the quick slots I use. I go with Cabal Hermit, Warrior Monk and Rogue Engineer. It is actually almost the same combination as for my Star Child Claymore build. So you just have to change your gear and quick slots and you'll be ready for this build. No need to create two separate characters to play both of these builds. For the quick slots, I use Puncture to apply pain, allowing us to empower the dagger skills. I use Serpent's Berry and Opportunist Stab who are both empowered by Confusion and Pain, which I apply very fast with Puncture and the Maelstrom Blade. I also use the Backstab, as the Empowered Serpent's Parry stuns the target, allowing you to go behind it for a free Backstab. I use Counter-Strike and Brace for a classical triple parry combo. I also use Wind Infuse, but for bosses I remove it from my Quick Slot Spell and just use it before entering boss arenas. It is safer to put health potions in your quick slots for this situation. Finally, I go with Swipe Kick for the instant knockdown on confused enemies. There is not much more to explain. This build rewards a very aggressive playstyle, with very little downtime in the gameplay. I generally start the fight with Brace and chain with basic attacks to stagger the enemy. Then I use Puncture when it tries to get up to negate the immense recovery time of this skill. Then I just bash them with everything I have. Opportunist Stab is just insane, and so are all the dagger skills. I just want to finish this by saying that if you want to make a more optimized version of this build, you would probably just have to change the dagger. Something like the Manticore Dagger or a Rondal Dagger enchanted with unsuspected strength would do nicely. You would lose the incredible aesthetics though, so do as you wish, but I prefer to look stylish. I'll leave you with a bit of gameplay and I hope you enjoyed this. Have fun and I'll see you again. If you want to support the channel, don't hesitate to subscribe and like the video. Bye.